can't make this stuff up, right? Papa John's continuing to distance itself from John Schnatter, announcing late last night that a special committee of the board of directors was formed to evaluate the pizza chain's relationships with its founder. They've directed the company to terminate its founder's agreement with Schnatter, said he will no longer appear in ads or as a brand spokesman. They've also evicted him from his office at corporate headquarters in Louisville and requested that Schnatter cease all media appearances and not make any further statements about the business. All of this comes after Schnatter resigned as chairman of the board of his namesake chain last week. He also sat down with WLKY in Louisville Friday to tell his side of the story. Schnatter claims he felt provoked into using a racial slur during a training exercise on a conference call in May. He also claimed Laundry Service, the agency he was doing this exercise with, tried to blackmail him for $6 million to make all of this go away. He also said he knew the media, including Forbes, which broke the story, would lie. We reached out to both Forbes and Laundry Service for comment, but we have not yet heard back regarding this blackmail. Schnatter told the local station, quote, I am not for sale. Just so I understand, they were doing like a role-playing game. You, you hire a media co training company. Because of so, the NFL comments. Okay, so we're going to go through this exercise and pretend we're having a conference call. And he claims that on that pretend conference call, he was egged on into using the N-word. And he said that he didn't want to do it. He wasn't comfortable, but he felt like he was kind of provoked into doing that. And one more interesting kind of damage control thing is the new CEO, Steve Ritchie, sent out a memo on Friday saying that they're going to be conducting listening sessions all around the country, kind of taking a page out of the Starbucks book. After their incident in May, that's what their senior leadership did. So they went all around and kind of heard from uh, their partners and employees. And so Papa John's is going to be doing something similar here in the wake of all of this. But in the meantime, right, uh, the name has been taken off of stadiums. Uh, people That's have severed right. their ties. I mean, $6 million pales in comparison. I'm not saying that he should pay them anything, <laughs> that anybody should be exhorted into doing anything. But $6 million pales in comparison compared to what they have lost when it comes to sponsorships and market cap. I Exactly. And I mean, he is Papa John, right? He is on the logo. He's on yeah. the branding. And so they're moving to, re you know, they're going to remove him from all of that. But he's so closely tied to this brand. He founded, he is hold Papa on, John. If somebody demanded $6 million to make it, he should just go to the FBI. He went to his local right. affiliate instead. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.